Love is a word that in our culture has almost lost its meaning. Uh, there's a very interesting story about the Rebbe of Kotsk, who came across a young man who was clearly enjoying a, a dish of fish that he was eating. And he said, uh, young man, why are you eating that fish? And the young man says, because I love fish. He says, oh, you love the fish. That's why you took it out of the water and killed it and boiled it. He said, don't tell me you love the fish. You love yourself. And because the fish tastes good to you, therefore, you took it out of the water and killed it and boiled it. So much of what is love, right, is fish love, right? And so, young couple falls in love. Young man and young woman fall in love. What does that mean? That means that he saw in this woman someone who he felt could provide him with all of his physical and emotional needs. And she fell in this man, somebody she feels that she can write, that was love, right? But each one is looking out for their own needs. Right? It's not love for the other. The other person becomes a vehicle for, for my gratification. Too much of what is called love is fish love. Right? An external love is not on what I'm gonna get, but what I'm gonna give. We had an ethicist, Rabbi Dessler, who said, the people make a serious mistake in thinking that you give to those whom you love. And the answer is, the real answer is, you love those to whom you give. Right? And his point is, if I give something to you, I've invested myself in you. Right? And since self-love is a given, everybody loves themselves, now that part of me has become in you, right, there's part of me in you that I love. Right? So, true love is a love of giving, not a love of receiving.